And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Simic Yoink. That's our next standard 2020 deck. That's right, we're calling it Yoink because the goal of the deck is to ramp into these uh, steel cards where we take their things. We got a couple mass manipulation. We got a couple agent of treachery. So that's what we're that's what we're doing here. We have um, our ramp cards where we don't have one mana ramp cards right now. There's no Gilded Goose. I could play a Boreal Grazer to put lands into play. I don't really like a Boreal Grazer too much though, because if you have like let's say you have a three land hand and you play turn one a Boreal Grazer, you put a land into play, and then turn two you play your other land and you have three three mana now on turn two, so that's awesome. And then on turn three, let's say you haven't drawn a land yet, then you you would have just played your third land, but now you're already out of lands, and so your Boreal Grazer only helped you with mana for um, one mana for one turn for a card there. So I'm just not going with a Boreal Grazer. Um, and of course, obviously, drawing a Boreal Grazer is in the late game, just drawing 03s. Nah. Another spicy one that I got in here is I'm going to try a Plain Wide Celebration, where if we can ramp into this, we can use this to return a bunch of permanents from our graveyard to our hand, or we could proliferate a bunch if we have like Nissa going with a bunch of lands and Krasis and stuff, so we could do a bunch of pr proliferating. Or gain four life. So, like, if against, um, you know, there's a, like, there are some aggro decks here. You know, there are some red decks. Maybe we can ramp into Celebration and just seven mana gain 16 life, you know, or like make a 2 2 and gain 12 life, <laughs> you know, or something like that. You, we, celebration can get you surprise ultimates with Nissa. If you, if you play Nissa and then untap and then Celebration, you can just proliferate four times and, and just, uh, ultimate your Nissa and keep your Nissa around kind of thing. So that that could be pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to try. So let's go ahead and try some Simic Yoink. See how it goes. So we're playing standard 2020. Choose your fighter. Hehehe. <laughs> Hawkeye decided to join us here for this game. Hmm. No ramp. Just have three top end cards, four lands. We're gonna mulligan. <laughs> put one yoink card to the bottom and drew another. Burglar rat. That card's cool. They go on like 12 discard, you know, like a bunch of Yurox Fen Lurkers and Burglar Rats and Playcrafters. Good card, good card, good turn. Yeah, Yoink first discard. Whoa, rotting Regisaur. That's a good card. All right, well, great turn for us. There, we'll just have the Leafkin chump block the Regisaur.
Oh, wow. Another Regisaur. That could be bad. Alright, need to hit some lands. Ugh. Okay. Good. That worked. All right. Do not want to fight through that. I suppose. Simic Yoink starting with a win. Risen Reef is busted. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. I don't know if y'all knew that. The reason why our, our first five losses were all Simic decks. First five losses in this, this format today. So it goes to three wins now. Yeah, they, they changed that today. So there's a new update today uh, for that. So you get two losses now and if you win if you win one you get 50 experience if you win two you get 150 experience and if you win three you get 250 experience so you get so it has more experience now it's a lot easier to gain experience than just you have to win two in a row and then you get 200 now you get now just every win is you know, like your first win is 50 So yeah, if you need that that XP, yeah, it counts as rank. You can do either. I think you can do ranked or not ranked. I'm just I'm doing the ranked ones here. But yeah, you can do either one, ranked, not ranked. So Paradise Druid adds blue. Paradise Druid is. Our true blue card. Hang on, the draw's rough. Okay. He's saying, what's up, everybody? Yeah, I think this, I think this may... I think this is the opponent we just played, honestly. I dwell in the shadows. Much perish the thought. I think it is. Land. Yay. If that was another land there, I was going to put it back in my hand also, though, to discard to Davriel. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. So I know we could have, if we if they don't kill either of our mana creatures and we draw a land, we could have cast Agent of Treachery, but it's better just to cast the Cavalier. We can still chump block with Cavalier. Um, and then... Um, 
and then get back Agent of Treachery after we have more lands. Uh, yeah. 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 Probably going to play Krasis on turn three. Probably, I guess. I guess holding Krasis for after Nissa is, you know, advisable, but we'll kind of see what's going on with life. I don't like drawing another Nissa. Bite me. Want a high five? No. <laughs> Stop. I need it. Need to control the the mouse over here. He's attacking. Right. He goes yuck, yucky pen. Here. All right, so not looking good for me. Not looking good for me at all. I need to block here, honestly, but I don't. Uh, I don't have lands. The Nissa and Tamio draws were really bad for me. Um, I don't in for this format. I don't know what the tier one decks are. I don't know Kind of play whatever I mean, what does a crisis for one do for me besides nothing Just Play a crisis to chump block with Doesn't seem like a great use of a crisis You don't get to draw a card or gain a life by playing a crisis for one. No, I would not classify this as a die roll metagame necessarily. Best of one, I mean, for as much as best of one can be, I mean, that's... And best of one obviously does incentivize winning the die roll pretty hard. Yeah, we could have drawn half a card and gained half a life. So this one looks to be over. That is definitely over now. We were gonna have to chump block Knight of the Ebon Legion and take nine and go to two. And we still didn't really have anything to do then. Oh, I can move the camera with Hawkeye. Move in. All right, two and one. That was a really good hand on the play for our opponent. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We've had zero Watsy matchups tonight. All right. Not, I mean, manipulation celebration, not the best here, but I like that we had the temple. Ugh. We don't need more seven drops. 
I was hoping with the temple that we'd go find either more ramp creatures or... There we go. See, that was a good temple. That was a good, that was a good, good scry. So we could have manipulation next turn and steal hero. I know my responsibility. Or if we get slowed no, down. I am not making this up as I go. We can manipulate for more the next the following turn. I've got time. If you wish to surrender, put thoughtfulness before action. All right, so we're going to steal two. If I just take the two Planeswalkers, they kill the Planeswalkers. Um, definitely want to take Narset. So I can activate Narset. Um, if I take Hero, though, they could, you know, potentially bounce the Hero later with the Teferi. Yeah, still bounced it. At least they don't get to make one ones though when they're playing these things. They don't get one ones. I have reached my limit. There we go. Now we're finding stuff. Now we're finding stuff, doing stuff. I've got it. You wanna bounce the crisis? Why not? Why aren't we bouncing crises over here? We will not fail. Citadel. Wow. Wow, what a hit. What a hit. Oh, they were going to be like so dead the next turn. Oh my gosh. And then that takes plain, plain white celebration? Oh, they didn't? What are they doing? How did they not take plain white celebration? There are so many mysteries to uncover. What are they doing? You have got to be kidding me. Prowess. Unbelievable. This is the best Citadel I've ever seen. That was unbelievable. Be 
wary of the ground you walk on. Gosh, that just triggers the oath of Kaya also. Unbelievable. Even like whenever they didn't take the plain white celebration, still felt like really great about this. But yeah, that was if if their top card was like a land with that citadel, they were dead. But no, it was time wipe. And then it was just millions of other really good cards afterwards. Open mind. The frustrating thing, of course, is how my opponent just took the complete wrong card with Thought Erasure the first time, just almost like like really just punted like that was just a horrible take but then just still rewarded with another thought erasure after all of that yuck all right new match I don't think we necessarily need to scry here. Almost everything in our deck's a pretty good draw step, you know, like all the lands or something cheap. Any like any of those are good draw steps. All right, now we're definitely looking for land because we haven't seen land. Oh my gosh. But I guess we cannot take, can't get rid of Risen Reef, I suppose. Looks like maybe we're playing a mirror type match here. A blink counter. I don't. I don't have a. I don't know what a blink counter is. Oh, a yoink counter. How many times we've yoinked stuff? We've only only one time with mass manipulation that last game that didn't go well for us still the land shall conquer you oh you're talking about Vela summer oh no we don't we don't have Vela summer we don't have lands either We can go Cavalier and copy Cavalier this next turn. That's going to be my best play. Obviously, I have nothing to stop Nyssa, though, right now. But maybe with Cavalier, copy Cavalier, and then getting all the Risen Reef triggers, maybe we find a Mass Manipulation or Agent of Treachery by then.
So obviously don't don't like our chances here because they have Nissa. We don't. <clears throat> and they still have a whole bunch of good cards. Well, check that they still have a whole bunch of cards in hand. So we're gonna have to just get really lucky with them not having a steel effect and then us finding a steel effect. We have to have both of those things happen. Voracious Hydra should certainly be attacking here. They should have dealt another two damage to us. So that was a, that was a really wonderful turn for them. Ugh, sorry about that. And <clears throat> sorry. So yeah, we had we had exactly what, what I said we could do there with the double cavalier. And we found mass manipulation, so that's perfect. That's exactly what we need to find. <clears throat> now we need So we had our our turn that we needed. Now we need our opponent not to have a steel effect. Because if they have one, then I lose, and it looks like they have one. They're just clicking on every single thing that I have over here. Or they're just mousing over them slowly. Can't miss land drops in that mirror. We had the same cards they did, but I missed land drop there and <clears throat> really slowed me down. That Voracious Hydra killing my creature. You know, so I didn't have five mana, so I couldn't play Nyssa. I had to play Risen Reef instead of Nyssa, and then they got to play Nyssa, and, you know, the rest is history. No, I'm not using a new mic. Does the does the mic sound different? Okay, y'all don't hear an echo. Okay. Okay, yeah. No, I've had the same mic for like three years now. Okay, cool. Sounds good, good. All right, this is our Krasis matchup. We want to find Hydroid Krasis. They can counter Hydroid Krasis, but we still draw cards. So that's that's the card that we really want to be drawing here, Hydroid Krasis. We got four of them for a reason.
Why couldn't they just have negates instead of essence captures? Yuck. As far as I know, Historic is being implemented on rotation, as far as I know. Yeah, I've been told that you can play the cards from Brawl in this event also. I didn't... I don't even know what those cards were, the ones from the Brawl event. I, I didn't get all of them. I got five of the six. I think there were six. I honestly don't know what they were. I don't know how you even find them in the collection. I I went to the collection, I typed in Throne and Eldraine and stuff like that and didn't show up. So I, I don't even know what those cards are or, or anything. They don't, they don't make it easy to find, whatever it is. Whatever those cards are, so. Oh well. Well, that's frustrating. You have to use, you have to type, you have to type E colon ELD. How would anybody know to do that? Why, why wouldn't they just put Throne of Eldraine in here also? Yeah, like, why, why isn't it just here? Anyway, all right, so that was our Simic Yoink deck. Um... Even though we went two and four, it didn't, didn't feel like didn't feel like the deck was that bad or anything. Like I think that that two and four could easily have been four and two. Uh, we just you know we had a couple we had a couple games where we or like that last game you know we just flood out didn't have any reasonable spells at all. You know we had like the Ragdos Aggro that just had an awesome hand on the play. Um, we just missed a land drop. You know, we missed one land drop against the um, against the mirror, and so we lost a mirror match. And uh, that kind of stuff. So, um, but uh, yeah, that's Simic Yoink. I liked our list. Um, oh yeah, then we had the Esper opponent that had no business winning, but just had the the most lucky Bola Citadel you could possibly ever have. Um, like they had to hit Time Wipe, otherwise they were just dead. But then they did. But then they still had to hit Thought Erasure, and then they did. But then they took the wrong card, and so then they hit another Thought Erasure. And they hit another, like, four spells besides that. But, oh well. Yep, I guess I'm not very good at being a thief. Not very good at the yoinking stuff. But still, a, a good deck. I liked it. Um, yeah, I liked our deck. Just didn't quite work out for us. Anyway, uh, so that's Simic Yoink. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.